Hello, I welcome you today in the name of the Lord. Um, many of us experience have kind of experience after doing every spiritual work. Okay, so like most believers, if you're a Christian, if you are a voodoo man, if you are a nature lover, you find out that after using an element in a walk, either a spell walk or after doing prayer and fasting for you know dedicated prayer and fasting like for days two days three days depending on the kind of prayer you're making you find out that after your prayer session you that after your prayer session you get this kind of chaotic physical living you know you know it kind of becomes chaotic or you are drained like you are drained from your system that you can't even you know it, it won't have much energy to talk okay every spiritual work deals with kingdoms all right you entering into a spiritual engagement is to what to oppose a kingdom to receive your thing to force out your blessing from a kingdom holding it okay or a kingdom obstructing it so and when you go into this kingdom spiritually to get what belongs to you, there must be a chaotic moment because if you conquer them in spirit, they'll find a way in the physical realm, you know, to try to pull you down because they know that they can only lure you into something that will make your spirit weak and they will accuse you because they say that the devil is the accuser of the brethren okay so they just want your physical that's why anytime you do a prayer and fasting session in the daytime to a day the next morning or two days after that day you start seeing some people you know even some people you never expected that could come they will be showing themselves you know some some of them will be passing your path some will carry the action because their works their evil works against you were was we're not we're not able to get to you in the spiritual way they intend there so they will bring the war physically so when someone who is your enemy a secret or open enemy has been battling you and couldn't get a way to you to get you down now anytime the person brings the war physically then know that you have conquered them already okay so you yourself you know if you've gone for a spiritual work okay but if you've not gone to a spiritual work, if you're still living a carnal life, I'm sorry for you, okay? So, but if you're a spiritual man, a being, for the voodoo people, some of them will go and do some voodoo work, okay? Some young guys out there, some of them doing some one kind of thing or the other, right? For the money. So, they will go and do one voodoo stuff or the other because they don't know what have been past roots, animal stuff and the blood they put there and once you've done all this hub work have our work yeah we thank nature with animal offering all this but we i don't serve any idol i don't have any tree wood anything representing anything for me okay the universe represents everything for me so every sacrifice i give to i give to nature all right so everything go from the earth so that is for me i don't know for you i'm not trying to change you but i'm trying to tell you the way you please nature all right so once they've done all these hard rules these are spirits combining together to do a particular work all right if it's money work so these spirits come they put many hard many roots and all of them have different different spirits guarding each of them having their own you know for if you use them for good receiving the energy they will still give you something but in a gradual process okay but when they've these good people they've done all this in the pot and all this and tied and once they put a blood on it now once they put that blood on it a fallen angel enters okay so that is one thing i'm trying to tell you about summoning angels so you know when you're summoning angels so you be careful what you're summoning or which angel you're summoning because when you summon a fallen angel using a blood sacrifice and all these and some other things okay you be sure to receive the karma they are angels foreign angels god never took their powers away from them yes so they still live for eternity so they see you they've seen people like you so you can deceive them if you're a direct person you can deceive these angels because they know you the evil you've committed they know so but when you use all these up god has given the gift the holy angels are there 
okay guiding it that's why if you come to the moon there are angels that we are called the root of the moon okay the sun or the planets okay so when you worship all these planets they even before the, the fallen angels were sent down from heaven there were angels there there were fallen angels walking there they still have the power to go to those places okay so that's why some evil people worship those fallen angels but we in and i still do use it for the good work they say they, they have to be done with them okay so and anyone try to accuse me or oppose me trying to join evil kingdom or any diabolical coven so for that work i tell them that i have my rule with authority not with power okay i don't have power god has all the power in heaven and earth and above everything and he has given me the authority that whatever i decree shall be established unto me so that is what that is where i belong so some of them will do voodoo work when they do this voodoo work once they put this blood that spirit if the most comes now it's aggressive some of them were unleashed directly from hell so with that fire the energy you know they they will be pushing down sometimes some of them they are weak they will do all these things and once these demons have taken a human blood they cannot manipulate a human spirit you've killed okay that's why they will subject you to killing 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 because you cannot even the voodoo person the spiritual that killed cannot even run away from it he cannot run away from it it's impossible okay so they have to be killed. That's why they don't have peace of mind. They have money. They don't have joy. But when you use all this nature, they will be angry with you because you are not in the same level of commitment they are. But don't fret. Don't fear. They have no power. Okay? They just have power. But with authority, wisdom. They have power and knowledge. We have authority and wisdom. And when you have authority and wisdom, knowledge is elementary. Power is elementary. Even kingdoms that have power will seek you okay so what i'm trying to say is anytime you do a spiritual work some of them will do the spiritual work before they go hard the spirit will be dragging them some of them will get accident and die some with that if if they were able to coordinate themselves the spirit needs something to start acting it needs blood to start acting okay because you've put blood on that herb and you've committed it that you're going against the law of nature you okay and once you've gone against the law of nature you must dance to the tune of whatever you've done there all right so there's no running back unless there is a grace man that can spoil it for you apart from that you must dance the tune of what you've committed so next thing will come and you know that if you come to your house and someone dies because the angel will go he knows your information because your blood has been put there your everything is there so he goes there take somebody and you come you know where you've gone to you know you've gone to the kingdom of that you know how you've moved and now but you've gone for a thing and someone you never prayed for anybody you went for, for prayer and you came back and someone died you will believe that yes god answered your prayer he didn't kill anyone maybe he's even the person evil person doing it for you so that's why the conscience devil will put into you when you go to a voodoo walk because your conscience will first of all tell you hey it's like this thing i did the other day cost this thing because you went there okay so this here is i'm trying to tell you about nature i'll be releasing many things for you how you use nature to tap to the grace god has given to it many of them will be coming many of them will be coming the trees you never know they have powerful effect even the voodoo people the evil one they use it too they tie a cloth and then they worship it okay now another spirit enters it and they say this is it but that is not it so what i'm trying to tell you anytime you do a spiritual work or a pastor a man of god i don't, I don't like calling all these names okay a man of god a spiritualist a priest a prophet prophetess or name they choose to answer okay once they do a spiritual work for you i'm not advising you if you are doing voodoo work because if you are doing voodoo work surely there must be chaotic moments but if you are doing voodoo work know that your own chaotic moment has no end okay so just know that one in your mind if you are doing any blood work you have adding root and then you keep blood on top of it and all this know that your own karma your own chaos is not having any end in sight uh, so them just tell you unless you give your life to christ now but if you're especially there you do work for some people know that if it's a good work you've done you are trying to go and fight against a kingdom another kingdom to get what belongs to someone you're working for to get something that belongs to you so once you do these things some of these things will come out as battle because this kingdom know that something has been taken away from them and once you know that something has been taken away from them they unleashes their agents to come and attack 
or to know what to do since they can't attack spiritually anymore because you've disabled them they will come out physically to show you then say some of them will start you start if you are far you start receiving some um, some silly calls you know that will lead you to something if you're not cautious enough and wise to be able to discern that this is not this and this is not this that's why you need wisdom in everything you do so you'll be able to decipher every symbol and every sign that passes okay so but if you're a prayerful person here you pray and first few days or week becomes so chaotic know that the grace is in sight so that moment they are trying to do everything possible to make you lose faith and lose courage and to give up and then lose your blessing so that moment you'll be patient because after every chaos comes peace the kingdom of heaven so very violent and the will take it by force so you know there must be violence it happened in spiritual it always happened so that's why i want you here to be like a soldier if you do any spiritual work be sure you know the path you've gone and be sure you be able to understand that the few first period of every spiritual work is chaotic okay so just keep that in mind that is what i want to discuss it's a deep stuff i want it i want it to be saying about the signs ways it affects everybody in every spiritual work okay like healing money and all this in the way you'll be seeing the attacks okay the way you'll be seeing this attack manifesting in real life and how you can be able to avoid them but the only thing is just that once you do a special work or make yourself seek wisdom and be able to be able to decipher every signs and actions that are happening around you after that moment that see odd so you know how you can be able to come up on top this is my wish for you so i bless you today i bless you in the name of god father the son and holy spirit i bless you with mother nature the every good element it has given to us and i bless myself too with every good element god has given and I seal our prayer and I seal this session with the blood of Jesus. And no man, no woman, anywhere here on the screen, anywhere in any kingdom, hearing, seeing, shall be able to obstruct and hold the message of healing and deliverance to you and to myself. Amen.